Solana has been one of the best performing major market cap cryptos of the entire bull run, currently up about 2000% from its lows back in 2023. It's an extremely fast and cheap layer one blockchain. It's got an amazing ecosystem full of decentralized applications or dApps, and it's number one in the world in terms of active daily addresses. And yet with all of this said, I'll be selling my Solana and using the money to buy Sui. Why? Because I believe Sui is primed to be one of the best performing layer one cryptos through 2025 and even through the last quarter of 2024. And before I get any hate in the comments, no, this is not an ad for Sui. I've taken no money to share this and have no vested interest in whether or not you invest into Sui. Now, obviously, I will be investing into Sui after this, but I recommend you do your own research and decide for yourself. And once you do your homework like I have, maybe you'll understand why I'm so bullish on Sui. So in this video, I'll be sharing three key reasons Sui is not only a better blockchain from a scalability perspective and even an architecture perspective, but also from the investment perspective, which by the way, nothing I share in this video is meant to be financial advice. These are just my opinions. So with that said, we'll be diving into some key stats that highlight the growth and excitement surrounding the SUI blockchain and network that will cause many investors to FOMO into the token and push it to new highs. And by the end of this video, I'll be sharing the charts, price action, and some reasonable targets for the SUI token that we might potentially see by the end of 2025. And really quickly, before we dive into the rest of the video, head on over to bullrunners.com to get access to the early bird list. By the way, that closes in two days if you want to get access to any of those bonuses. And if you're ready to become a crypto millionaire and take your portfolio to the next level, then go ahead and join this list for exclusive altcoin picks, market analysis from the bull runners, and to get early bird access to our crypto education inner circle and platform. We're really stoked to share this with you guys, but time is running out. Uh, and once it runs out, you will no longer get access to any of those bonuses. So all you got to do is reserve your spot by subscribing, then go ahead and check the email in your inbox to get started then. Now let's get into the video. Hello and welcome back to the Bull Runners channel. My name is Paul if you're new here. And for those of you guys who already know what SUI is, totally fine. I'm going to take about 15 seconds to explain what it is for those of you guys who are new. SUI is a layer one blockchain that utilizes parallel transaction execution to process transactions at a faster speed than other blockchains. And basically what that means is that this system handles network transactions simultaneously instead of one after the other as seen on networks that operate the sequential transaction execution system, something like Ethereum, which is why it's so clunky and it really takes a long time to get a transaction through and it's also expensive. Now, don't get me wrong, Ethereum was a revolution in terms of decentralization for finances and access to financial services services or any dApps. However, it was clunky. And so then players like Solana came in and they changed up the game. They went from an old clunky system that used old clunky ideas when it came to their programming languages like Solidity and they improved it, right? They started using new languages or newer languages like Rust, which were typically more scalable. However, Rust is still not that easy for a lot of folks, especially in the way that they built it with Solana. However, they did take a few of these things and improve on them and Solana really proved to be a winner as it aims to improve scalability by introducing a proof of history consensus combined with their underlying proof of stake consensus of blockchain. Now again, we're not going to talk about those, but go ahead and look them up if you want to learn more. Now this really seemed to be the key for Solana to win big considering they were able to scale to about 65,000 transactions per second and their time to finality or in other words for the transaction to truly be settled, it required about half half of a second. Now this was revolutionary and a lot of folks really started diving into the Solana ecosystem. We saw a lot of network growth over the last bull run through this year. It reflected in the price. Again, we had a 2000% gain on Solana. However, there were some major issues with true scalability as Solana continued to go down. And in this article from Cointelegraph, they said this is not the first time the Solana blockchain has faced a network outage or downtime in block production. The network has been 
plagued with multiple outages since its launch, and the latest outage will be the 11th in two years. In other words, imagine if you were a business running on Amazon Web Services and you had you were processing processing millions and millions of dollars of transactions per day. We're talking bigger companies, right? They need total and complete faith that you're not going to have any downtime because that's lost revenues for them. And I would just find a newer, better solution. Well, that doesn't happen over at AWS, yet it has consistently happened with Solana. Now, I'm not saying it's going to continue to happen with Solana, but it seems that there's a lot of issues in their current underlying infrastructure that don't truly allow for scalability when they start to see a lot of transactions. However, when you compare that to something like Sui, you can see that they process about 13.8 million transaction blocks in a single day. They've had a peak TPS of 6,000. That means 6,000 transactions per second. Obviously, it doesn't break there when their theoretical transactions per second would be upwards of 100,000 to even 297,000. But through this process, they've had no downtime, slowdowns, or gas spikes. They've had a 100% uptime, which is very reliable and arguably creates for an environment where companies will really want to build their decentralized applications. And so although I could explain it to you, I think Adani'i will explain it really well. This is one of the co-founders and a developer over at Sui, who used to work for Facebook, building out DM. However, under a lot of regulatory scrutiny, they decided to leave to take the Move programming language, which builds parallel blockchains, which basically increases the scalability and speed and bring it over here, where they raised $300 million to go and build out the infrastructure. And now we have it in Sui is performing well, but let's go ahead and listen to what he says. Um, we, more concretely on other aspects on why SWE is different, SWE doesn't have a maximum throughput. You generally see people quote, what is the TPS of a network? What is, my network can do 100,000 transactions, my network can do 50 transactions per second. For us, that's a red flag. Um, the internet doesn't talk about those numbers because the internet largely scales horizontally. SWE is built under those same premises that we use to build search at Google, that we use to build you know, infrastructure at Facebook. You add more hardware, the network scales. And we've been able to demonstrate that you add 7x the hardware, you get basically horizontal scalability, you add 7x the hardware to validators, you get 7x the throughput with no increase in latency. So SWE, very differentiated from other platforms, does not have a max throughput, has the lowest latency by far, actual end-to-end -end latency of any other blockchain. And we're starting to see that in the adoption. Devs come onto SWE and they start to build. Now, just for context, what he's actually saying there, if you didn't hear it properly, is thorough put. The reason that SUI is so scalable is because all they have to do is add extra hardware. And we're never really going to run out of hardware when we have a lot of major tech companies building empires by building out hardware like NVIDIA in a generation of AI. And so most blockchains break because their highest TPS is based on their current system. Whereas when you have a parallel build, it's infinitely scalable, similar to Google. Think about it. You've never seen Google go down because millions and millions of people are searching at the same time. That's how blockchain should be built as well. And what's so funny is although he is sharing the fact that TPS is kind of a red flag if they're promoting it, at the end of the day, Sui still has a higher TPS than Solana at 100,000 plus, and it even has a faster time to finality or settlement. And what's even crazy is the fact that all of these technologies are still better than the traditional financial system that we currently have, where settlement can take anywhere from a few business days to even a week. So when we talk about scalability for blockchains, it's one thing to have a really good blockchain, but you're talking about two separate factors. It needs to be scalable for businesses, or in this case, users, and it also needs to be scalable at the blockchain layer. In the same manner, when you look at Apple, they're currently cutting back on their production of the Vision Pro. Now, Apple is one of the biggest companies in the world. Do you think they can't afford to go and get the financing or themselves produce millions upon millions upon millions of this $3,500 product. Of course they can. But the reality is if they don't have an ecosystem of developers willing to build applications for this product, it doesn't really matter. And so if there are not that many products inside of the Apple Vision Pro or cool use cases, then guess what? Users are also not going to buy and use it. Imagine you just toss them on and there's four to five applications. Eventually it gets boring and tired and old. In other words, 
words, you need to create a scalable infrastructure for both people to build on the platform and also for users and businesses so there is no downtime. And so I believe one of the coolest inventions ever made on blockchain is what Adani is going to share right now. Listen to what he said. One of the things I'm most proud about that we invented recently was something called ZK Login and also sponsor transactions. ZK Login allows you to use your existing Facebook account, Google account, any OAuth-based Web2 account that you have to create a wallet and start transacting without worrying about gas because sponsor transactions will cover the gas on your behalf. So you can build compelling Web2 experiences using SWE without introducing people to the concept of wallets, which I think are the dumbest thing ever created. Mm -hmm. Wallets should not exist. And that's our view. Like, quite frankly, you should be able to onboard using your existing Web2 account, start transacting with crypto, without ever having to worry about wallets and all the complexities of, of the infrastructure. Divorcing the infrastructure from the consumer is really going to be the barrier, right, that we have to solve. And we've solved that in an immensely great way at Mr. Labs. And so when you think about it, yes, to onboard the average user or normie, they have to go and download a wallet, maybe a Chrome extension, have a separate application, go and write down their private keys, worry about where those things might be if they actually write it down. It's just a massive headache. What if you could use something like a Google login? It automatically creates a wallet for you on the back end using a ZK knowledge base proof, which again, if you don't know what that is, you're more than welcome to look up ZK on crypto. You'll find that out really quickly. But I do believe this is one of the reasons people are so excited and this network is growing as Sui just hit 28 million active accounts. And that's not the only impressive stat is over the past month, a number of Sui Network's key performance indicators have made new all-time highs from decades volumes to transaction fees and even TVL or just the fact that Sui Network has now outperformed Solana in terms of DEX or decentralized exchange volume extending its lead to 7.5 billion dollars now looking at Solana Solana is one of the largest cryptos by market cap currently sitting at number four while Sui is sitting at number 17 yet Sui seems to be a far better product and maybe this explains why Sui is one of the best performing layer one or crypto blockchains over the last three months. Users are starting to catch on to all of these metrics and starting to understand the technology. And then you likely have developers who are also starting to build on Sui and realizing, oh my goodness, this not only doesn't have any downtime, but it's a hell of a lot easier to use and build on. Which brings me to the co-founder Evan Cheng and then and he explains exactly why developers would want to build on this platform. But we're going to listen to a little bit about what he shared in a recent interview. Transaction speed in comparison, Sui has really started to balloon over just this last little bit. And many people would look to Solana as being one of the faster chains out there. Sui, in fact, is even faster than Solana. And within this, when you look at transaction speed and you look at the narratives behind many of the different industries that are going to benefit from this, gaming, possibly finance transactions, all sorts of business and industry. Where do you feel that SUI could potentially fit in and really solve big problems? Yeah, so so first of all, we we position SUI as the coordination layer. It's the ultimate developer platform, right? So if you think about what a developer needs, they want infrastructure to get out of the way to solve mm -hmm. problem for them to serve them the product, right? You don't want them to think about all the complexity, right? Mm -hmm. So we think more in terms of that, right? So if you have a developer platform, right? People are used to using cloud infrastructure. You don't want to think about capacity limitation, right? So when SRI came out, the first most important design is the architecture allow us to get to the point where there's no constraints on capacity ever. People talk about scalability, you know, TPS, SWE has the design to get us to the point where there's never going to be any kind of limitation in terms of the capacity. More demand, more capacity, elasticity. So with all of these factors in mind, it's no wonder that SUI has actually outperformed Solana over the last three months. Here is the local low from August 5th of 2024. And as you can see right now, we're in November. So yes, it's about three months later. SUI is currently up 300% or 298% on this candlestick chart. The red line indicates Solana and Solana is only up 53% in that same 
time frame. So if you know me by now or you've watched any of my prior videos, I really do talk about some of these key performance indicators when it comes to relative strength. And when I talk about relative strength, I'm really looking for performers over losers. At the end of the day, you want to bet on the dark horse in the race, even if the odds are really greatly in your favor and you earn a little bit less, so to speak, because at that point, on average, you make more money. I have a friend who's a professional sports better and he doesn't really bet on underdogs unless it's one sport and one sport only and that is boxing generally speaking he likes to perform on the fit or excuse me invest on the favored team in the same manner you want to invest in the key performers who are outperforming the rest of the market because that is a good indicator that there is serious strength and demand behind it now by no means am i saying that solana is an underperformer again relative to the rest of the crypto market it's just currently underperforming sui over the last three months which speaks volumes about the demand. Another one of the key reasons I really like SUI and the current price it's sitting at is because not only is it near its previous all-time high, but when they break out above all-time highs, it's nothing but smooth sailing from there. We really don't know how far or how high it can go considering price discovery usually leads cryptos to insane prices and market caps because everyone is FOMOing in. Whereas something like Solana has not reached its previous all-time high price and its current market cap is extremely high so when you look at the price of sui or the, i would say the market cap we're sitting at about 6.5 billion dollars which yes is big but solana's already hit 10 times this market cap in the prior market cycle markets tend to gravitate towards newer cryptos with new narratives and good technology, SUI being one of those, and I would argue the best in the space, currently sitting at only 6.5, could it 10X? Easy. Okay, that would bring us to about 20 plus dollars. Now, when you look at something like Solana, currently sitting at a $94 billion market cap, it's gonna be a lot harder for this thing to 10X, and I would argue it's more close to the 5X range. Is it possible that this thing could be worth $500 billion? Yes, but if Ethereum maybe potentially even got close to that, but it's never really hit and held the $500 billion market cap range. And that's the second biggest crypto by market cap. So it's going to be a lot harder for you to 10x your money at all on something like Solana versus something like Sui, which leads me to believe that Sui is a better investment from a portfolio gain perspective. Now, just comparing the price action on Solana and what happened in its full, first full bull market cycle versus today, it's actually quite interesting because again, the market cap back here was actually smaller than it currently is today because a lot of tokens have now entered the market through venture capitalists, through their inflationary structure, so on and so forth. Again, we're not gonna dive into the tokenomics right now, but what I'm trying to say is when whenever we broke above this line right here, and I'll show you why, okay? When we broke above the previous all-time high from its listing, dumped to new lows, broke out, we reached a 1,185% gain, okay, before breaking down quite tremendously. Then it went on to put another major move in for a total of, and I'm not gonna go ahead and take that, I'm gonna take this exact same line over here, for a 5,200 to 300% gain to its all-time high. That is an insane gain, uh, and the reality is the world were less competitors in that market at the time. Solana was one of the easily the best performers uh, in crypto history. However, I don't know if something like Sui is going to have a 5,000% gain from today's prices, but I'm pretty confident a thousand percent would be realistic. Now, again, this is not financial advice. I'm not giving you, you know, the end all be all. This is exactly what's going to happen. This is just my prediction. So as you can see here, we had our previous all time high on listing back in May of 2023. Then we dumped for a low, put in a new high, or touched for a double top, only to break back down for this Adam and Eve type structure, right? You have this Eve, then you have a sharper uh, downward turn before a V-shaped bottom and a recovery, and actually a, a higher low. So a series of higher highs, higher lows, we are officially breaking above that $2 and uh, just $2 range. So now things are getting get it really exciting, especially as volume is increasing. And so for me, it's not even a question on whether or not this bull run I'm going to be targeting at least 1000% and a 1000% gain would really put us at about the 20 to $24 level. I think that's very real.
realistic before we see some sort of a retrace or a breakdown and then we need for the market to recover a bit before it goes on some insane runs to new all-time highs that said i think at the current price of about two dollars thirty cents anything under 250 is an insane deal on something like suey however one thousand percent i think is an easy target i actually think it can hit a two thousand percent return considering again we're comparing this to solana back in the day and it is a better layer one blockchain that is truly going to be scalable at just about every metric and level and i don't believe the rest of the market has fully caught on yet a two thousand percent return would take us up into that 40 to 44 dollar range and i think that's very realistic considering this would put it at a market cap of 120 billion at the pico height or top of the bull market something like solana is almost already there now for solana to give you a 2000 percent return it would have to be just a ridiculous ridiculous market cap. I believe it'd be closer to $2 trillion. That's just not realistic for Solana at this moment in time, considering it's already at a new high for market cap. So there's just far more room and growth potential in something like Sui, this bull market around. And for that reason alone, I will be investing all of my Solana money into Sui. This is a high conviction play for me. However, I recommend that you do your own homework, take your own risks. Don't listen to just what I'm saying. Do what's best for you and your portfolio so that said thanks so much for watching the video if you liked the video if you learned something new be sure to go ahead and subscribe and like this video it helps the channel out then in the comments below let me know what price target you're eyeballing for sui this bull market and then once you're done with that go to bullrunners.com to subscribe for some early bird exclusives and bonuses and this ends in literally two days so in two days time you will no longer get access to those and you might not be able to get into our crypto education inner circle and mastermind that said if you are wanting to become a crypto millionaire this next year and that's not a guarantee that's just you know what we're promoting we want to help you to become a crypto millionaire then join this early bird list for exclusive altcoin picks market analysis and the crypto education platform and inner circle all you have to do is reserve your spot by clicking on this button sending your name and email and then check your email to get access to the platform if you enjoyed the video this is going to be something for you okay because we not not only give you a lot more technical analysis we teach you all the skill sets but this is truly a way for you to dive all into crypto so thanks so much for watching the video i look forward to seeing you in the next video goodbye my friend